Right, part two. Yes, just part two of Mafia Definitive Edition here, live on Twitch and soon to be coming to YouTube from at Iwick Pun. Here I am. Where are you? You're a lying fucker. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right there. Up here. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're going to be going for about four hours according to the PlayStation thing. Um, so, yeah, let's continue where we left off last night. Last night, that little guy got taken to the doctors. I proposed to the missies, the soon to be missies, and in game, of course. At I McPun as well for all local listings of my appearances, comedy wise. Check it out, it'll be fucking great fun. But let's see what's going on here. I hope it's at the bit that I think auto saved, but we'll see. Continue. Omerta, 1933. Hurrah. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. Surely not Frank. Well, we did punch in the nose. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. Uh, I was a stupid kid, Tommy. Give it to that grudge for 50 years. Gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. 50 years? See you next that's time. fucking mental. Frank is mental then. If that's why. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you'll make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Kill Frank. Now, nah, you waiting for you with a clean car. Dude, you're wrong. The feds get those books. Can I go? I bet I can't go down there. Oh, I fucking can as well. Stop that! Want to check out all the controls, collections, blah blah blah. You can do. Uh, yeah, in vehicle. What's the handbrake turn? Circles handbrake. Circles handbrake. I'm just going for a runabout town. What can I say? Yeah, I'll return the object to fuck off then. You've been a wise guy. 
You go down through Lloyd and 8 and then date 7th at Maryland. So you find a racetrack. A sort of hoid. Anyway. Hey, Penny. You alright, son? We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with a biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you wanna. Yeah, of course. Fucking put it away, mate. Fucking broad daylight, son. Frank Caesar Lepara, you'll know. We always work. Hey, come on now. Limmer on. Can't go down that way, can I? For the latest news, the Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron. Right, let's see if we can get this drive now. Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster. The visible fucking hell, move, move. On record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert Wiley, idiot, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has You're a German tanker. The yeah. National disaster. And so he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. Fuck off, man. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled program. To your scheduled program. Who? Who? Who's grassing me up? Yeah, we don't use that. Let's cross that joke. Fuck off. <sighs> Didn't even have to. It, it was just a shot, but it wasn't as if there was anything going down there particularly, was there? Fucking idiot again, man. What makes the mistake twice? Yeah, I don't need to fucking drive there again. Right, let's go. Get the limiter on. And now for the latest news. The Navy is... Yep. I heard the latest the news in the last. Let's not say this. Is that the Popo? That is the Popo, isn't it? Shut your mouth. I can fucking beat two, mate. Going for L2 for the break. But L2 is a break. <laughs> That'll be why. Alright. What's the script? What's happening? I would John John Lee yourself, mate. Did you just call me a can? Tommy, what's the rumpus? Can I talk to him? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. Depends what you've got, man. They're getting something from Morello, but I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Buffer Rooney. Right. Yeah, it certainly is, mate. Oh, put that away. Put that away. Put it away. But I like bringing that up. Put it away, you fucking crazy motherfucker. We 
Fuck off, man. We got the bookie. You motherfuckers. Who they are. You're an asshole. Yeah, well. Lots of people on that run. Don't look up here. Nothing to see up here. Drive on, Popo. Drive on. Leon, back in the day, is not stupid. Bad by Popo. You were looking for me two seconds ago. But you're just a bit too stupid to get me now. I'm kicking over up here. I like the way the radio goes a bit funny in the tunnels. Quite a nice touch. Quite a nice touch. The latest musical numbers on your FM dial. Oh, wouldn't have been FM, not in those days. Down here. I love the old school fucking broadcasting style on this. Looks really pretty cool. I really like it. I need to stop indiscriminately flicking that R2 button. It almost got me in trouble there again. Okay. I don't go get him, boys. The Lance is fucking take place today in the gold series. Oh, fucking no. Uh, I don't know, mate. Depends what you mean by okay. I'll take that. Terror Eels? What the fuck? Right, Johnny Johnson, Blood no, Cop, whatever it is. What's this What's about this the guy about you the drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into pen. He's hired He's muscle hired for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me pine and thawed. Pine and thawed. Keep my mouth shut. That arm that Councillor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. Frank? He didn't tell Tom? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Something not good. So you working with the feds after all these years? What have they got on you, Frank? What have they got on you? We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. Yeah, I want to hear the, the big game. The big game. No, it's not around here. I mean, this is... Yeah, technically this is an open world game. But... It's not free roam. Or I'd call free roam anyway. It's very linear. It's linear open world. I don't know if I fucked off somewhere else and say return to mission in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But it's... It's not exactly explore, pick up new things and go. Everything resets with every single mission. Um, which... Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch. Fucking hell. Just what I call open world. Do you not fucking look, you fucking moron? Um, it's a fun game, but it is linear. If this could be true open world, it'd be fucking great, man. Well, it would be great, but it'd be better. As it is, it's fine. Um, but that's all this game is, is fine. Um, but hey, I'm here, I'm playing, I'm fucking doing whatever. Don't know how far away I'm from my objective. That's the only thing. You can see that, I see that, but mother. 
motherfucker. I mean, I see that big yellow fucking objective marker, but look, where is it? Still a little bit away. Let's open up a little bit. Can't really open up in this car, it's shite. But let's not draw any attention. Let's be good fucking driving citizens, people. So fucking Zeppelin up there. Is that the Hindenburg? I don't even know when the Hindenburg blew up. When was it? But it was about a giant sea cow that fucking that guy talked about. Oh, the huge manatee. Hey, there's one for free. Right, what's happening? Looks like the place. Classy driver, I can't fucking do that. I won't say that I was very swervy. I was just a, uh, 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 in we go. Anyway. Yeah, Frank, you are better off with fucking grass, mate. I'm not gonna be happy if you're a grass. Now, do I have to keep my distance? Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final... I'm assuming cars in the 1930s had fucking rear view mirrors. Because if they did, that meter would be right up in it. And mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors. Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Corriento. I swear to God, you fat fuck, cross the road. ...as a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around him. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see yeah, this car has been following you for quite some time, Frankie boy. And your stupid ass drivers. Right. Because it's been a straight road so far, okay? That's fair enough. It could be coincidence. This is the first corner they've taken. And the first bit of suspicion that may arise, potentially. There's another car on the road, so maybe that would cause suspicion. Ah, you see, it's the second corner I've taken. But I'm still there. Now, if he turns on another corner, I would be very suspicious. Especially when fucking when you stop, I stop. That's suspicious. They don't have fucking right mirrors. I'm the only fucking car on the road. Apart from that big truck. Now this is the only corner I can take here. So it could still stand to reason. But no. I think I'm clearly following you. Ah, shit. They're taking you to the airport, Frank. No, uh, not my fucking watch, man. I'm right behind you, man. You still can't fucking see me. A swing and a miss, and that's the ball game.
job well done depends on tools and materials that aren't going to let you down. At Edmonds, all I'm going to be a bit of sass. I can get a bit of sass. More and more sass. You're not taking them to the airport, man. You must have already had to do with those fucking papers then, haven't you? Is this the road to the airport? I'm gonna check my map. Fucking looks like the airport to me. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Oh, fuck it. Can't tell you shotgun to the road. <laughs> what guns have got just this on off? I know where Frank's been taken, how the fuck am I going to do that? Can I talk to the police? Hey officer, have you got the time? Okay. Okay. I'm away, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm not even here. Hands on me again, I'll fucking shoot you. Okay. Put it away. I'm, t I'm, I'm taking my fingers off the, the trigger buttons. Off the back trigger buttons because... Well, I think that's my way in. Here. You've just left the fucking door open. Oh, the plane they're really using <coughs> is Morello, so I'm like sure of it. Alright, what does that say? Shut down the airport. I don't know what time is it now. So it's one o'clock now. No, it's not. It's quarter past one then now. Do I strangle him? Is he strangle worthy? Hey, this guy's not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah, he's burned to death. Okay, I get it. You died. Okay. Right, I think I know what I need to do now. This is more of a, a sneak mission. Because I've only got a shotgun. I'm going to have to blast my way through it. If I'm going to get away with it. I hope I'm not right back. At the, oh, I'm right here. But have I been compromised?
I'm going this way. Yes, front me. How do I get around those wise guys? I'm not getting around those wise guys. I'm doing it this way. Are there any wise guys around this way? No. Fuck off the... That's bollocks, that's bollocks, that's bollocks. Just turn it your fucking objective. I'm trying to turn it my objective, to be fair. Right, wait a minute, this, this is gonna turn. Right, so I need to run around this plane because the fucking the game is stupid. Right, can I run around there in dead eggs? I'm not getting over that, am I? Right, okay, there we go. Back in hell, piece of shit. I could have went round it. I could have went round there. Right, yeah. See where the pinpoint is, right? Go round there, along there, down there, and in there. But for some reason, the game doesn't want me to do that. Open world, my cock. So. What do we do? We need to go in fucking blasting, don't we? That's what needs to happen. Can't go with anything else. Those cunts have they spotted me. I think they have. Down here, I want to go anyway. It's in this fucking hangar, I want to go anyway. So, well, fuck if you can't see me or not. Or do I? I don't really do I. I think maybe I do. There's a hanger right there. I fucked that one up. Fire coming down. That's all I needed to do. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tom. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting. For this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. And they're all outside. I don't know. I didn't really take care of them. Get on a plane. I kind of snuck around them and go on shot someone. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. Well, Frank! Get on the plane, much! For Alice, 
For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Better light, eh? I don't know, did I kill him or not? I don't care. It's not a game that gives you choices. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my town. I'd rather have them taken care of my devil's men again. That'd have been better. Um, get a kind boots from the bank. Uh, I would rather have a fully loaded shotgun, to be honest. And that I do not have. I have got two bullets left. I shouldn't have fucking wasted my time there. You alright, darling? Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Hands off the triggers. Right, well, I'm gonna go through here and then down the stairs. You right, mate? Day, huh? uh -huh. Yeah, drum it. Put go in your ass! Of course, these days, I think that means something a little bit different. Um, I always er, trouble. Gangsters monthly, mate. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. All right. Hmm, that seems a little bit sus. You get any ammunition, mate? Because I got a feeling I might need some on the way out. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, Apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Careful of your types.
Who are these motherfuckers? Is that Morello? You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay uh, respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. He's kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna send him the plane and let him fuck off. That seems what I was gonna do. Um, right, I'm taking a little pause here. Um, I'll be back in about five-ish minutes. Got some business to attend to, but yeah, talk amongst yourselves.
Right, boys and girls and those looking for thrills, I'm back. That's me. Basically put the children to bed, bribe the cats to come down, so we can continue with this Mafia Definitive Edition story. So that's two people I've let off. Frank and the Prozzy. I was supposed to kill them both, but I didn't. Who am I? A hooker with a heart of gold? Those are very white wheels. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor. The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. Uh-oh. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. But where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvin. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Space is a protect mission. Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene. Si, grazie. Don Saliere. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, who capisci? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Good luck, my friends. Tommy. Let me know the comments. That's what I meant. Piacere, dear. The conosciuti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Be forward. Drive, bitch. I think that's what he said. What's this you've got? Meraviglioso. Right, let me run. Always a little bit run. Because there's no really any fucking time restrictions in any of these things. Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. You ah, fucking blind, you uh, motherfucker. Plan? Yeah, yeah, the boss told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La casa forte è dietro un dito al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella casa forte avrà sicuramente una larga. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Does that mean Jesus Christ? Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, si. you gotta keep safe. Safe. See, si. si. uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Excellente. This cunt lives way up in the hills. He's got bolamento money. Bolamento money? I don't know what that fucking means. Doesn't mean lots of money anyway. I know that. Hell of a view up here. A volte questo paese è estupendo. It's less for looking at the map. I'm just fucking curious on the map where we are. 
Definitely been out of this way before. I don't think. Do a bit cut scene. Take out the guards. Shoulder, that's fucking good to know. L1, switch so left. What can I say? any rocks back in the day to strap cuts. Don't wish more on that in a minute, buddy. I didn't really need to hide the body to be honest. He doesn't have anything on him. Interesting. El Labyrinth, though. Where is El Labyrinth, though? that mini map rather than try to figure out how the fuck to get out of here. I'm assuming it's through here because that looks like, well it is literally a gate. Yeah, gunfire will raise the alarm, sure it will. Your hands off the trigger buttons, Maka. Back in hell. Right. There's a cunt there. Right, if I keep down along, I can sneak up behind the motherfucker. Nah, I don't 
around with that one. Bodies won't raise a lot. That was our sin. This does look a little bit fucking route one going this way. Fucking comic books, man. Take out the guards, I need to take out all the guards. Same pattern, boys. It's all shade. <laughs> oh, pocket revolver, service revolver. I don't know. What's the bell? Whatever it is, put it away. Guards up there. Mm, can't get up there, so probably not. Can take out the guards. Right, well, where the fuck are the guards? What oh, could potentially get caught there? Who's going down that way? Is that Tommy gun he had? Please. Salvatore. Fucking Tommy gun. We're clear. Tommy. I have taken out the guards. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a DP. What? Da Vinci? Caravaggio? I can't be painting. You're saying it's behind the paint. Yeah. Okay. That's what I fucking the dawn said. If you just remembered what the dawn said. Yes, we got another one to check. It's on the first floor. We know this. Another here, Silver Dory. 
No. Any wall behind here. These are almost cuts in your house. Another here, Salvatore. Where, 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 where? On my wall. Sure, it's behind one of these, Salvatore. Salvatore. So it's daunted. any of them so far. I'll be honest. What the hell are you doing here? Burglars! Oh, help! We need help in here! Yeah. Get the fuck out of my way, Salvatore, you motherfucker. Fuck all in here. Can't get a big house. There we go. No doubt about it, that's it. From Galati, prosecutor Watkins, I'm ready to thank you. Read it if you like. Alright, so that priest is dead. Very good protectors are those men. Let's face it. Here we are. Uh, uh, uh. Screws them. Sure, sure. Show me what you can do. Let's have checking in for pose. Oh, comes are home. Be quick, Salvatore. Nice work, excuse me. Akura! And I call it out on alarm! What? It's a polato! Doesn't matter, come on, we need to get out of here! Get yeah, your fuck this, Tommy. They gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. Where did you go?
apparently that is the no, I know I'm not going to get another chance to get this, so where was that medicine cabinet? Where was that medicine cabinet? Was it in here? It needs to know. You understand, don't you? died visiting rich people. Like, where am I? Where are they taking me from? <sighs> Hopefully I'll be on the stairs because I get through that first bit. All right. They gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. Hey, hey. That's how you quick swap. L1, L1, quick swap, cool. I don't think he's getting back up. Is that someone there? Is that Salvatore? Whatever it was, I died for two rich people. I thought that was the way to go. Maybe it's just getting the shotgun and fucking blasting right through them. I don't know. Let's see if we can do it this time. Let's see if we can do it this time. They gotta be upstairs. Safe yeah. Study. yeah, famous last words. They've got to be upstairs. The safe is in the study. Fuck it, let's get the shotgun, why not? Tommy gun's fun, but it really doesn't fucking do much justice in this game. Right. Don't see shit, mate. Yeah, right fucking here. Oh. Yeah, that's just tougher. He 
It popped up right in the knee cap. Hey, you come through like those. Get a better shot. Wait, right, now where's that cunt going? That's what I want to know. You run into your cunt. Do the one's running, mate. One of these cunts has got a shotgun. And you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Sweet child of mine! Luckily, I know where some fucking medicine is. No, not this room. What room is the fucking medicine? Ah, it was in this room, wasn't it? Here's some medicine. See, I tried this before, but it didn't work. But, here we go. Right, and my stump cunt is going to come up the stairs and surprise me. Giving you a taste of your mama's ass. Oh, you just moved to the end there, you prick. Are you? Oh no, you're not. Take the car. What car? Let's go with this car. Well, that'll be the most suspicious, won't it? Um, right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where? Genuinely, where the fuck are we going? gonna end well this mission. This ain't gonna end well this mission. Only thing I can really do now is break and let them get in front of me. I need to get out of the car because I'm gonna die if I don't. These cunts invincible. Those cops seemed invincible. Let me know in the comments. Should I be taking out the cops or should I be driving away from them? I died for the teen rich people. What can I say? Right, let's see if I can actually put in a motor this time or I need to take out those people again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Please. I think this is a better vehicle. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where am I going? Don't leave the cops to the job, which is up there. I'm assuming. Is that fucking where I'm going? Right. So I'm here just now. <laughs> So a couple of little chicane things and yeah, I should be able to lose them there. I don't 
don't know. What, is that a route that it's taking me? What are these red lines all about? I don't fucking know. I'm not a fucking grass. Right, so anyway, what a chicane and a long road. Fuck it. Well, I'll do. Is that what a chicane is? I don't even fucking know. Get the limiter off this fucking car. these cunts and preferably not in this fucking car this car is shit even that last one was better than this fucker right let's go we're out we're on the open road yeah, we just found me again Any other cops on this road? Right, okay, 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 right. Speed limit now, speed limit. Dingy dingy ding ding ding. Right. Oh, nope, away from there. Away, 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 away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not so much keeping an eye on the road, but shit, I need to. Ay, motherfuckers! Ah, there's the Sagrada Familia. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. Ain't shit, mate. Well, oh, it's still on my tail, though. And I've got no idea where I'm going. Where am I going? Look, what's that? I thought there was something in North Park. No. Right, so up there to the left and over the bridge. Fuck it. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah. Where We're home. home. Uh, six, six and um, Naples. Okay, let's go. Tommy, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa. Everyone wanted to translate that for me in the comments. Much appreciated. Not only doing a service to me, but to all the hundreds of singles of numbers of viewers that are watching. Uh, let me do that. Don't grasp me in anyone. Okay, okay. Sure. No, thank fuck for that. That was turned out a little bit more complicated than it needed to be. My fault. But also the fault of the game. Who knows? Great deal. Nine. 
This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Word them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. You make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? See, this guy was saying that Morello was a fucking weak thing, but he seems to be a fucking weak guy. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> anyway, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Yeah, but there's only fucking okay, four of them. Do it. But you better not be playing grab ass. This not exactly. Time. You take Carlo and Little Bill with you. High class mafia outfit. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Well, we'll see about that. I regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys. You don't have to worry about it. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver keep safe, boss. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Please, so who's the driver? I thought the other guy was the driver. Anyway. You okay, Carl? But you kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, uh, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally, you're on. Back. Listen, listen. I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road, wait till he's finished with his broad. I don't know what that little wing thing is. It's fine. The boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on the road of Whittingham's? First time Gates pulled in with this truck, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is going to get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. Uh -oh. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. One more yeah, the accents in this game are me. fucking up this moment. Actually serious. Fellas, Can't wait to get back to talking to that fucking idiot Irish, supposedly Irish cop in this game. Fucking hell. That'll be... It's cringeworthy. It's really fucking cringeworthy.
Let's hope not for you, but... Never any cops in the bridge. Or are there? I don't know. Never seen one, though. We better fucking under over undertaking. I don't think you can undertake in America, can you? It's all just a bit of a free for all. Not that it's bad or any less dangerous or anything like that, it's just that's the way it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, shut your fucking mouth, cabby fuck. I think I just have. Come on. Oh, just... well, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go in? Watch the road. Watch it. I'm at the parking lot. What do you mean get in the car? I'm at the fucking parking lot. So this little fucking spazzy designated space. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Parking attendant don't ask for much though. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Come on, let's go! Up over there. Holly. Good to see you, pal. Yeah. yeah. You oh my me. god, he looks dodgy as fuck. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Alright, one sec. I need to get a drink. Not that the one Tommy's getting, but a drink nonetheless. Oh, yeah, I'm back after a great big drink of water. Oh, that was needed. That was needed. Um, don't escape what I can tell you. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your 
first payment. If the Don's impressed, we'll finance more rents. And each one's going to be bigger than the last. We're all going to be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just got to conclude this transaction. <laughs> No, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Those fucking dogs do not heal them. Look at all the guns, man. Guns are gonna sound like. Who could have one of these gentlemen's cops? Hey, hey, over here! Yeah, I'm out of that. You know you stand. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Escort the truck. Does that mean go on foot? It appears so. We got more of them. More of these guys? Where the hell is that bastard? Back up! My god! Fucking invincible, that cunt! Goddamn meathead! See, can't see where it's coming from. Come now. But one of them. There we go. There's another one. Pop your head out your back. Wait, where's the fucking truck? Why are you parked there, you fucking idiot? Medicine cabinet. Drop 
That's what I fucking need. Truck's moving, but it can just fucking wait a minute. There is ammunition I need to fucking get. That's the one I wanted. I'm assuming they're all dead. Just fucking reverse the truck up the hill a bit. Is it that fucking difficult, you fucking idiot? Reverse the truck up the hill a bit. Let us take out the fucking stupid mafioso cunts and drive away. All you need to do. Fucking daft. I was starting again. Who's shooting? Where is shooting? Who's shooting that? Who's shooting that fucking truck? Seriously, man. Oh, motherfucker. You come from prep. That's cool. I'll believe you about your first aid if that's alright. That alright? Thanks. I've come to the streets. I'm going to turn up my objective. I'm right fucking here. 
to Sam. Okay, Sam. Right, man. Wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Let's see what the famous one in my new game was before I start losing my shit with this one. This isn't gonna be a fun part of the mission. I can fucking know I know it anyway. Look, can't face fuck. Right. Come on. Why can't I catch up to that fucking? Hunt of a motor. Come on, hey, fuck. Yeah, that's that fucking hell, man. Why, why did they put me in a shite car? <laughs> to try and keep up with these other ones. Why? Makes no sense. I cannot keep up with those other cars. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the fools back to the warehouse and I'll try not to die. Okay. 
fucking idiot. Catch up with him, catch up with him. Come on, come on, come on. Goddamn moron. Did that car just jump there? Right, that one's fucked. Genuinely, where the fuck are we going, man? This is fucking mental. I have no idea what is happening, where we are going. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. The truck is in not bad shape. We are in a little bit of fuck shape. Need to catch up because what a fucking cunt on his tail. Tell me about it. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. What do you mean, catch yeah. up? I'm catching up. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped Watch off the road. Watch this. This is yeah, a fucking and pop what? another reason I ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! I don't laugh if it was actually fucking war. I'd have been better, to be honest. Anyway, after that, I need to take.
Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Don't ask too many questions about where it came from, huh? We're all right. Do what you gotta do. Absolutely. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a cop will... If I knew the drive was going to be this kind of rumpus, I'd have taken the keys myself. Ah, uh, sorry. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a cop needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't you know I know it. 570 Lost Heaven Radio brings you modern music and news bulletins throughout the day. Thank you for listening.
till you taste the cassandra top. Oh. oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't so yeti. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellently, bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Sit, please. And to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. the front and take them out, Tom. Go!
Look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Carlos still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this... This is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. You ever see me whack a guy, Tom? It don't happen much, or you know... What's with you driving like a moron? See me whack a guy, Tom. It don't happen much. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom. My face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed <laughs> casket, Carlo. <laughs> Okay, bus. Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Stick 
I'm not sure. Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hopley recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cried. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <clears throat> so the Ari must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Start something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hey, 
it true that Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people on the up coast? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Hard guys in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ. That guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. from a presidential address delivered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country.
Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. You know this whole shindig cost me five grand? Pilates always no. throws the swellest parties. You've remembered the Staff only. Guest wait in line. You know how to drive that thing? You better hope I do. What's gonna save your ass once Galati's head is popped? Sam's over by the dock buildings figuring out how to get you on board. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen. You better be. Go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good time. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him.
Hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. I think I got him in trouble. What? You think you're something you're not? Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Hey, guests only. Hey, go scrub your decks. This is off limits. Gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. You get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. <coughs> Son of a! Thank <coughs> <Make> you. <coughs> Jesus! <coughs>
Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. So, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? <laughs> 